Hello everyone, welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We are coming up on Wrapped as soon as two don't have another, well, not another, one Dark Contestant. So it's gonna be another week of waiting for that to happen. Also, I need to get some fertilizer for my zombie to actually start working on that farm. I wonder what the bishop thinks whenever he walks Oh hey. Whenever he walks by and sees that there are zombies working on my farm just right outside. <laughs> I hope he doesn't mind too much. Alright, zombie. Your workplace is almost ready. Uh, I don't have enough. Golden pumpkin seeds, oh no, not again. Um, okay, that's fine. I guess your workplace is not quite ready yet. Apologies. Alright, let's actually go up to the refugee camp now. I believe there are quite a few people I can talk up to up here. I wonder which is this guy. Let's see. Sis. Warn Theodore about Lady Beatrice. Ah, Keeper, you're just in time. I was just about to visit you. With that terrible news, the king was in a terrible rage and refused even to speak to my cousin about our bid for clemency. His son's wedding was disrupted. The bride is dead. Oh, what happened? Inquisitors. A group of inquisitors led by some Lady Beatrice accused her of witchery. They produced some evidence, so the court's judgment was swift. That's bad. By the way, that Lady Beatrice you just mentioned paid me a visit. She's looking for you. With nowhere else to go, so I hope she stops looking before she finds us here. We'll have to stay here for a long time, maybe forever. How can I help? First, we need an improved warehouse and an improved campfire. And one more tent would be just right. So we can take in more refugees. Hmm, that smell. Is that globes? Where is that coming from? Weird. It's that weird perfume she sprayed on me. Master Alaric? About Lady Beatrice. Master Alaric, you must know something about Inquisitor Beatrice. She paid me a visit. Beatrice? The council entrusted our fare to Beatrice? Seems they're even crazier than I imagined. What do you mean? What do you know about her? Ever since she appeared several years ago, strange things have been happening. She's had a tremendous career gathered hundreds of supporters, even including counselors. So, what's strange? She is ambitious, smart, and quite beautiful. Not my type, but... Her influence over the council and inquisition is grown too strong. There's a secret behind this, I'm sure of it. Corruption, bribery, informal arrangements? No doubt. That's just common stuff. There's something else at work here. I mean, she is a witch, clearly. About the mysterious woman. I have some new information, Master Alaric, about the vampires who kidnapped you. There was a woman who ordered them to do it, and to turn you into a vampire. A woman in black and gold cloak. Have you ever heard anything about her? I would have remembered if the kidnappers mentioned her. But I didn't. They mentioned ghouls a lot. They said they'll feed me to them, but I kept quiet. Yeah, foolish. Every adult knows that ghouls don't exist. I think that woman might be the key to our mystery. Sorry, I can't help you, but listen, why do you smell so strange? The thing is, when Lady Beatrice visited me, she. It doesn't matter. Sure does matter. I'm sure she did something with that. We were spray, that's why everyone keeps mentioning it. Has to be. <laughs> Alright, 
one right here, or... Oh, I need to buy more silk. Dang. That's at least seven more silk I need to buy. Okay, here's some beehives. Oh, here they are. I just need to build three. Well, what do you know? Oh. Oh, right, right. I don't have happiness. Sorry, I was really worried for a second. Because I was sure I had put down enough enough bees in the uh, storehouse here. I need to go talk to Inquisitor as well. Alright. I built your hives. About two. You probably want the last one. I'll, I'll build you the last one because I already have it in here. But I built the hives. From this moment forward, your life will be much sweeter. Oh, you're such a treasure. I'm so happy, but I should have protected this. But but I remember I promised you to tell my court. Wait, what? That's such a weird phrase. I mean, I know what she's trying to say, but that's not really how. Whatever. So, what recipes do you want to know? Uh, honey cakes, apparently. Um, I don't remember which one is sub deeds, sub bot. Simple next. In lentil, vegetables, milk, jelly, patties, cheese, dishes. Let me just check real quick. One moment. Simple snacks, vegetable milk, lentils, honey cakes. So. I believe it's these three that I haven't obtained. Thank you. You really should make something else but flour. Oh, don't let me stop you. I need to go talk to the Inquisitor. Hello. I don't have your organs yet. I'm looking for an internal burning coal. I heard from one of your guardsmen that you might have an internal burning coal. I need it to reunite with my family. Family. I had a family. But they were all burned, my wife and son. Burned alive in my house. My house was lit on fire by the great blast. And my son was so young, I even really couldn't find his remains. But I found his coal among the ashes. And it's been burning ever since, fueling my anger. I'm sure the explosion was caused by a witch coven or cultist. I founded the Inquisition to avenge all evil. I can't give it to you until I burn them all. Maybe one day, with your help, but not before. Can I ask you to release a gypsy woman? It's not in my rules to release someone. But this time, I'll make an exception. Her friends have been making too much of a ruckus outside my headquarters. About Lady Beatrice. Monsignor, have you heard about Lady Beatrice? Of course I've heard. I've heard about her all the time in recent years. The other counselors are crazy about her. They say she's our fried the future of the Inquisition. It sounds like you don't like her. The girl's looks and smiles don't work on me. I see the truth. Oh, Monsignor, your wisdom never ceases to amaze me. So, what is this truth? This is monstrous, I know. But I'm afraid her fate isn't as firm and fanatical as it ought to be, as it must be. Um, okay. Hmm, wait. What's that strange smell? That's a long story. I believe she's a witch, Inquisitor. I believe you should be burning her at your... What's that called? Cross? Fire? I, I really don't know what you would call it. 
All right, I need more seeds there. I also need to bring down a lot more peat into the church basement. So I'm out of peat down here to make more fertilizer. No, oh, it's donkey. One second, donkey. Let me finish collecting all of these apples. Are you here to tell me about your success? Sing and dance, my dear comrades. Uh, the revolution is over. We are triumphant. Our master explorers capture and the noble horses have been exiled to distant pastures. The interim government chosen among the most trustworthy donkeys and rats have commenced ruthless reforms. Do I understand correctly? That means you don't need my services anymore? And I can accelerate the fact? Of course not. Do I understand? You must be mad with happiness for us. It was only the first and the simplest step. What well, revolution awaits? The donkey socialist republic know us. Know what gratitude means. So take this humble gift. Well, thank you. Let's keep our tails crossed. Yeah, let's uh... <laughs> I'm glad for you, donkey. Uh, wow. That's actually... Wait. It has no durability? Am I seeing that right? What? This pickaxe is a party tool, but you feel something's wrong with it. Maybe it's that little spot of dry blood that's on your mind? Oh... I will take this gift. Thank you, Donkey. Very kind of you. Now, so let me see this corpse. Please have a dark intestine. No, it's a dark brain. Why? Why can't I have a dark intestine? Everyone is. Ugh. Watch, once I get that one dark intestine I need, the next ones will all be dark intestines. Just to spite me. <laughs> Let me go and see if I can talk to the gypsy. What's his name? Gypsy Baron, I think. About the uh, the release of that gypsy. He might still be out. If not, then I can probably try to hang around for a little bit. Should be just over here. Yes, hello. So I, I see that. Your friend is free. I talked to Lord Inquisitor. Your friend is free. I was right. He is your friend. So, you're an important man around here. So, tell me about this Esmeralda. Where's your sister? Probably she's far, far away. They put her on a ship with her dead many years ago. But she had a child, didn't she? Yes, my daughter. Once, she was a blessing to me, but now she is my shame. So, she's alive. Yes, she's alive. But she betrayed her own people. She would betray the memory of her mother. What did she do? She sold her mother's last gift, this old now legacy. And for what? For a lust, for impertinence, in the town. She's known as Miss Charm. We haven't heard spoken her real name for many years. Okay. Alright, let's look to this. A young astrologer and a gypsy quickly kiss each other, and then he goes away. The gypsy baron appears. He pushes the woman aside, pulls out a knife, and runs after the astrologer. The young gypsy yells something and points at her belly. Then he rips up her necklace and slaps her. She falls down and cries. Oh. That's not pleasant. Why did she make me read that? <laughs> Hello, Kuko. Do you have anything for me? Wait, not right. Oh. Hello. Hello. 
the Lord of Commander and some mountain foot soldiers were here. The Lord passed sentence and they hung someone. Yorick, that's how he died. What the hell? No, they hung two Yorick's. Yorick had a twin brother. Oh. That's slightly worse than the other one, I think. Um, well, I can... Oh. <laughs> Dress was snapping beside the fire, surrounded by hundreds of origami paper rabbits. Mm, this was recent. Dress was already old. Corey and some man from town are watching from a distance. The man looks like a doctor. The doctor leaves. Koi suddenly rushes over to Tress, gathers all the rabbits, and throws them into the fire. Tress awakens, shouts, burns his hands trying to save the rabbits from the fire. Why? Why is everyone so mean all of a sudden? <laughs> As I was saying, I was gonna go over to see the astrologer. He should be available. About Esmeralda's child. Esmeralda had a daughter. My daughter, where are they now? Esmeralda died many years ago, but her daughter is alive and well. I think you might have... Might even have heard about her. Her name is Miss Charm. Unbelievable. She's very talented. I saw her perform once. Oh. Oh, I'm afraid she'll never accept me. I left her mother before she was born. But I didn't know. I knew that it would break Esmeralda's heart. But it was all in the name of science. What a fool I am. Young man, you must test these waters for me. Speak with her. Find out what my chances are. Very well. Do you promise to tell me where the golden angle is? If I can reunite you with your daughter? Definitely. I'll be so happy. Alright. I would like to buy this from you. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that as well. Thank you. Blue points. Yay. Oh, that was 50 blue points, wasn't it? Dang. Uh, in that case... Oh, well, oh I have options. I want... This for sure. Okay, that's one. I need these eventually, but I'm not quite in the in a hurry for the golden ones yet. The golden book, I mean, since I don't have the other skills either. I need this to make the marble one. I also need to get this one. Oh. I need this as well. So many things I need. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's start with this first. Okay, that's one. I would pass on these for now. I will take this next. And then I will take this next. Okay. That should be... Very helpful towards me getting more blue points. Without making it seem so cheaty. I'd like to go to the talking school, please. May I have my money? That's actually a lot of money. Thank you. I can do an event. Maybe. Oh, I still need a cabinet with artifacts. I eventually. How's my wine? It's none. <laughs> Alright. Wow. Maybe I should work on getting a... What was the... the zombie vineyard? Yes. Hmm. 
You know what? I might actually will. And then I need something wonder for that. That's toys. 75 wood points that I don't have. Um. How about you? I believe this one goes... Yeah, that's fine. It's close enough. May I have some money? 38 silver. Not too bad. Maybe I should put down our... I don't know why I'm making crates since I don't really use this anymore. Alright, how do I make one of those urns? I need a porcelain picture first. Okay. I need just to make these dinners. Um, I believe you wanted gold items, right? Anyway, there's... Well, let's wish with, like, anything I can make that can have a goal on it. Hmm. That's the... Let's see. Vegetable salad. I don't have beets, so no. Uh, so what else? Toast with onions. Not in here. Is it in here then? Yes. Okay, I can make toast with onions. Or just onion rings. It looks like. They're both about the same. Um, oh wait, that gives me five, isn't it? I believe it only uses one. Yes, so onion rings would be better. Omelet. Omelet, omelet. Here it is. Oops, I didn't mean to actually <laughs> make it away from that then. Oh, Alma doesn't have a, a gold star option, it seems. I can have a bowl of lentils. I don't have lentils. Pumpkin soup? I have pumpkins. That might be fine. Let's see. What I need for pumpkin soup? I have plenty of these, actually. Is there a better option? Because that's only four. Don't leave me with one extra. Fishes. I don't really want to go fishing. Yeah, no. No, thank you. Baked pumpkin, perhaps? Oh, the burger. Burger's an option as well. Lasagna is an option. I believe I can just use cake for this one, so... Sure can. <laughs> Alright, maybe some cakes. There's lasagna that uses lentils, which I don't really care for. I don't- I really want to start making something new. I'll probably go ahead and make burgers then. Since those are relatively easy. I just need golden onions. I have plenty of those and cakes are also really easy to make. So maybe five cakes. Okay. I'm gonna need to get some more golden fertilizer so I can make Golden pumpkins. Or oh, not golden pumpkins, golden onions. Do I have golden onions by chance? I do. Well. Maybe it's enough for me to not have to... Warm it. <laughs> Can you please make me about... A lot of burgers. Well, not a lot, I mean just two sets. Wait, no, there's one extra burger in there. Don't I? Yeah! Nice. <laughs> okay, that's... 
the five burgers I will need. Yep, and then for this one, I want the onion rings. And then I'll have some cakes. That looks good to me. Here you go, zombie. Have a working station. Enjoy. That might be enough seeds to keep them going for a while since they do start losing seeds at some point. I forgot to make more golden fertilizer. Is 770 carrots too much, do you think? <laughs> uh, I'm actually just gonna destroy this. I'm sure I'll never need carrots for donkey ever again. It's sermon day right now, so I should go and do a sermon. Actually. Oh wait, yeah, it's fine. I would like to get some more is that quite enough for two zombies? Hello, do you have a draw intestine for me? You don't. Oh goodness. Alright, I need a good body. Hello zombie friend. I want to push you up into the vineyard area, I believe. But for now, uh, actually, can you work those for me? No, no, I actually need the, the blue points from the marble. Never mind. Alright, can you please make me... Oh, here are these. <laughs> I've never even really used them for anything. I need to go and talk to the, the witch as well, just to restock on my speed potions. It's running a bit low. I need some onion rings, please. Make me five. Alright, that should be enough for me. Here are those, and these, and cakes. Nice. Can I make this? Oh, uh, once I cannot. Uh, that's obnoxious. Well, alright. I'll be back then. Hello, Pato. I need to buy things from you. That golden apple is 10 gold. Well, I can't afford it immediately, but I hope to. Eventually. Oops, that's the wrong squirrel. This one, please. Golden elixir. That's fine. I believe that's everything I need from you. Thank you, Clavdo. Excuse me, I'm gonna go home now. And I want to have one of these. And go ahead and drink all my speed potions. Lovely. Look at all these crates that I have. <laughs> Thank you, zombies. You really do make life easier. Let's go talk to Miss Charm now. About her... father. Uh, she's not here yet. She will be in a moment, I think. That's Bishop leaving. Do you have anything new for me? Probably not, right? I could have bought these from you. I don't to be fair, they weren't really that difficult to make. <laughs> uh, is this Shepherd out then? Oh, hey, it's Charm. Uh, never mind, I'll wait for you then. Hello. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, hmm. Unfortunate. Shepard, are you out by chance? <laughs> Don't 
There was a long line here. Corey, Adam, Muller, Merchant, and five others. All elegantly dressed with flowers and gifts. Oh, they're here to woo Rose. Shepard appears, pushes everyone at this aside, takes Rose in his hands, kisses her lips, and carries her away. Oh, okay. Shepard? No, you're not out. Very well. More money for me. Lovely. Lovely with that. I only wrap my notes episode here. As always, I hope you've enjoyed. And until next time.